Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Picking right up where we left off in the last episode. We've got to uh, return to Moira with some things we got from the supermarket. Although being at night, we're going to have to wait because uh, Credit Heart Supply isn't open right now. Stand by. And here we are. I got some stuff for you. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? It wasn't easy, but I got it. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. The Raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store their best gear. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> Let's finish up this chapter with the landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? I'll head into Minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. What do you got for sale? What do you need? Well, some more 308s would be awesome. There we go. Good hunting. See ya. Come back soon. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Good man. All right, let's head up to the water treatment plant. Hey, buddy. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. What are you doing in here? Nothing. I'm... I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. What do you do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Gotta go. See you soon. All you right, Walter. Huh? Yeah, what is it? Anything I can do to help? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Can't you fix the pipes? I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. I'll keep it in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Gotta go. Well, back to work. Excuse me, Leo. 
Now, this one can be a bit tricky. Let's see if I can remember where they are. Obviously, there's one right there. But, once I do this, I'll be able to have a fairly good uh, income for selling scrap. There's another one over there. Because old Walter pays very well for scrap metal. Select the leak. Fix the leak. So that's two. Where's the other one? To hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, there it and is. children of the earth. Well, that wasn't too hard. Cool. Attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth. That guy is off his rocker. You got time for a smoking break? Why not a fixing the leaks break? What do you need? The pipes are all fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Sounds good to me. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. All right. Repair up to 45. And I think we'll bump up sneak a bit too. Let's see. Speech and butter. Unarmed? No. Hmm. Educated. Comprehension. Yeah, we'll take educated. Um, huh? Yeah, what is it? Want to buy some scrap? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Take it all. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. See ya. Well, back to work. Really? Okay, with that little bit of business taken care of, we can head out to uh, Minefield. Yay. Let's see. I only got seven shots for the sniper rifle. And I'm gonna have to do some Thirsty counter sniping. Partner. Try Moriarty. That's Doug Hoff. He's in the peril. I don't need armor or clothes. What I do need is some uh, better weaponry. An assault rifle would be awesome. And a better condition sniper rifle wouldn't go astray either. So I've got almost four cylinders for the uh, 32. Nice area around here in Springvale. You just gotta skirt around the school. And the overpass. Well. Okay. 
Oh. Hi. Whoa. Shit. <laughs> Ten mil. Save me. Bang, bang, bang. Fast travel, yay. Nope. God damn mole rats. Okay. As I was going to say, this is gonna be a bit of a tedious run, so I'll cut back whenever something interesting happens. Well that was pretty uneventful. Just a couple of raiders and some bloat flies. Uh, here we are. So this is uh, minefield. Now let's see if we can see. No, we can't. In that room building over there. There's a strange hermit who doesn't much like visitors, and who is a pretty crack shot with a sniper rifle. So we gotta skirt around the back and try to catch him by surprise. Oh shit. Oh good. I thought it was Talon Company. It was just a scavenger. Hey buddy! Buddy! What do you need? I need you to stop running away. What are you selling? If the price is right, make me an offer. Okay. That's really all I need. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See ya. Later. <clears throat> Alright. What was it I saw? Ah, yes. That. Increased barter. I should have done that before I sold in the stuff. Alright. Let's find a perch. Detected. Is that by him? Yes, that's by him. Alright, let's see if we can make these seven shots count. Where are you, good sir? Seriously, where are you? You should be here. There you are. Man, I wish I could hold my breath in this game. Nice. Whoa! Don't want to fall down there. Oh shit. There we go. Mine. There we go. There's Moira's present. Now. Boom. The easiest way to disarm a mine is just to blow it up. Or spam E. Okay, we're safe now. Let's see what you got here. All this stuff will fetch a pretty good price. You are sorry, self. All good stuff. Let's see if I can actually pick this lock properly. Lots more rounds. There's the playground. Ow. All right. Ah, he's got himself a little uh, root anyway. So, uh, whee! All right, let's just fast travel. Mm, 
megaton. Put the gun away. Yeah, you need something? Come from you. Alright. Hey more, guess what I got? How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? I got through my fit alive, and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Let's see. Which one's the funniest? <laughs> Oh, the zombie was real easy. Jump up and down on it. Nah, we won't say that one. Fast hands and faster wits can get you an awful lot. Including landmines. That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author, instead of just a researcher. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while. But obviously, you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. And that completes the first chapter, right? Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. I'm taking a break from research for a while. Don't take too long. The sooner the book's done, the more people we can save with it. Let's sell some stuff. Absolutely. Good hunting. See ya. Good luck with that research. Okay, we got a while. Let's go see what your old Moriarty's up to. Moriarty Saloon. Hey, Gob. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Hadn't planned on it. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen. Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy. Maybe you seen him? Oh yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. If you know anything else that can help, I'd appreciate it. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him too. Fair enough. So what about it, Colin? Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Looking for my father. My god, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? 
My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. You're a liar, Moratti. I know where I grew up. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. And what if I don't have a hundred caps? All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Sure. Anything to get the information. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> See ya. Careful in DC now. Those super mutants can be a prickly bunch. <laughs> All right. This is running a bit long, so we'll deal with Silver in the next episode. So, thank you for joining me for this episode of Fallout 3. Till next time, see you later.